Hello everyone. In this video, we are going to see how to do mass diffusion analysis using Abacus CA. I would say this is one of the least used feature of Abacus and many people don't even know we can use Abacus for diffusion analysis, but we can do that using mass diffusion step. Before we start, let's see what is mass diffusion. Diffusion is a phenomena which takes place at very low length scale. You can see on the molecular level. So mass diffusion is movement of molecules from high concentration to low concentration. Important point here to remember is diffusion is driven by concentration gradient and always molecules will travel from high concentration to low concentration. It will not happen vice versa. And one example I mentioned over here is diffusion of hydrogen through metals. Now diffusion equation can be given by Fick's law and what that law basically says is the flux is directly proportional to difference in concentration. Flux in certain direction is nothing but how many molecules are moving in that direction per square area per second. Now if you put it in a mathematical form, it will become something like this. J is a flux which is proportional to concentration gradient. And when we insert proportionality constant, we insert it as negative D. This negative sign is because molecules always travel from high concentration to low concentration. So this is the simplest form of diffusion equation. You can see I have mentioned units for all quantities over here. This PPM is parts per million and Abacus uses a generalized version of this form which is shown over here. In Abacus you can also model a temperature driven or a pressure driven diffusion. But as this is the basic video, this is the first video, we will ignore these terms. So for our example, these terms will be zero. We will consider only this equation. This is the example we are going to solve. This is a square domain with a hole inside. We can assume this as a metal, polymer, anything. It doesn't matter. And we can apply boundary conditions in two forms. One is you can define flux. So on one, this top boundary, we will define flux or you can define concentration. So on this right boundary, this entire boundary, we will define concentration as, as thousand parts per million. If you compare this to stress analysis problem, then concentration is kind of a displacement boundary condition and flux is kind of a pressure boundary condition. Now if you see diffusion equation, you can see there is only one constant which is diffusivity. So of course we will define diffusivity but as Abacus solves this generalized version, in generalized version there is one more constant called S which is solubility. So while defining material we have to define solubility as well but this is not going to affect your analysis for this simple problem. So for simple problem, you can define solubility as one. This will not affect any of your solution. It will not change anything. Abacus just used solubility to calculate normalized concentration. So if we give one, the normalized concentration will be same as regular concentration. If you want me to make a video about pressure driven or temperature driven diffusion analysis, please let me know in the comment section below. And in this video, I am going to use megapascal, newton, millimeter, those units. So I converted this into appropriate units. Never forget to check units when you use Abacus. Okay, let's start with Abacus CA. First set your working directory and then let's make a part named plate, make it two dimensional and continue. So I'm going to make a square. And then a hole at the center with the radius of 3 mm. Next property, create material. Now here we have to go in other tab, mass diffusion, diffusivity. So diffusivity value will go here. Our diffusivity value is 5 into 10 raised to minus 3. And concentration you can give it as 0. So I'm going to use only one value of diffusivity. But if your diffusivity value change with respect to concentration, you can put a table over here. And another you have to define solubility, which I'm going to keep it as one. Then create a section, assign that section. Next, create an instance in assembly. Go to step, create a step. I'm going to name it as diffusion step. And over here, you have to choose this mass diffusion. Say continue. Now you can do either transient analysis or steady state analysis. 
the logic is same behind it steady state will give you the final results in transient you will know how the steady state is achieved for this example i'm going to go ahead with transient let's do it for 10000 seconds go to increment now i would like to mention over here diffusion equation is pretty simple equation so usually it will never have any convergence issues so you can use very large increment size it will always converge for this video i'm just going to go with fixed and i will use the increment size as 100 and maybe just increase this by 10 you don't have to change anything else say okay go to load now we are going to define concentration on this surface so go to create boundary condition concentration boundary condition select mass concentration continue select the face and define magnitude over here so 1000 say okay and then we are going to define flux boundary condition on the top surface so surface concentration flux select this top edge and magnitude it's 0 0.5 go to mesh go to part now I want a structured mesh so I'm just going to partition this part into four sections you don't have to do it mesh controls and structured quad elements you have to choose element type and for diffusion analysis you have to choose heat transfer elements so standard linear heat transfer elements DC to D4 elements say ok seed the part that's good perfect let's create a job diffusion analysis and submit it done let's go to results so this is how concentration is distributed after 10,000 seconds the unit is part per million and if you want to see the flux you just have to go here and change to MFL so this is how flux is distributed also if you want to see how distribution is changing with respect to time you can animate the time history using this you can see how one material is diffusing from this side and top side you can change the speed of animation or many other things by going into this animation options you can make it slow fast or you can just play with it there are many other options over here if you have any questions or suggestions please let me know in the comment section if you like this video please show your support by subscribing to this channel which will give me motivation to create more educational videos like these you can also go to channels playlist tab and here you can see all the videos with similar topics combined together for example let's say if you are interested in ansys tutorials you can go to this ansys tutorial playlist and see all the videos from this playlist all the codes and files which i use for these videos are also available for you to directly download from this channel's github profile the link of this profile is given in the description box below if you have any questions, please let me know in the comment section below. And as always, thank you for watching.